here by disgrace and I'm doing another little series here and I, the first one I explained more about um, you know you could put yourself in these shoes or just think of somebody or whatever you want to do um, but I told a story basically about someone um, moving to growing up in a small city I mean, a small town not really liking it let's say it's a woman she um, young woman she decided to move to a big city she did work from you know she worked from home mainly she went to big city uh, lived there for a while didn't find it was easy to, to get to know people she worked from home but she worked also a part-time job really couldn't get to know people that much so the, the small town wasn't right for her where everybody knew everybody and everybody's business that kind of thing and then the bigger city nobody knew anybody really and uh, nobody really cared about what was your business <laughs> so um, so she moved to a you know a, a small city large town where many people knew one another and but it wasn't either one you know either other extreme small town or big city in that video I you know mentioned how she really found the um, or anybody really found the town very you know, nice, this, um, like I said, large town, small city, very nice, and moved into a home, you know, a temporary place, it's a house that she could work from home, she, you know, packed up all of her stuff, gave her notices, packed up, moved there, found everything was nice when she went for a couple of weeks beforehand to check it out, everything was nice, she moved back, you know, everything's really nice, um, but we all know, as is life, nothing is perfect, nothing. Okay, and you, you're going to run across people who aren't good, people who um, are just downright bad. <laughs> but you're going to run across nice people also. So, you know, that was great. And like I said in that video, you know, this person just um, worked, you know, worked from home and wanted to do the same thing. You know, find a uh, part-time job to get around other people and, you know, see how that goes. And for... Brevity of expression, I think is what it's called. I always pronounce brevity wrong, but I put an accent on it. But um, I'll just use you, okay, to make it easy. But say you, you know, you're this person in the scene, you know, if you want to be that person in the scene, you move to this small, uh, small town, I mean, small city, and um, you're there for a while, and you, you find that job, okay that part-time job and you work with people and you start to notice something different than then of course you would have seen if you know if you had you know just by going into different places you go to this uh, cafe like almost every morning say five days a week and um, meet people and stuff you know you're just there and people talk to you it's, it's very friendly but when you start this job you start to notice something that is very odd very different to you and it's in that same town and it's a like Cubeville you know you're in cubes and you work with other people but you only work part-time and mainly you work during um, the lunch hours and around that time of the place you're working they have their office meetings for everybody and so it's about two to three hours really a day um, and you're, you're basically the person who's answering the phones they don't get that many calls so one person during the lunch hours and you know to take up any kind of slack or something when they're having meetings too this place usually has an hour-long meeting every day every work day five days a week you still get to meet people be around people you know the, when they're not on their lunch or not on the in the meetings and um, so you get to know the staff and they introduce themselves all that and the thing that you start to notice that's odd is this one woman just one woman and she she's in that you know cube two in the whole big area and no you know you you see her different times but you never notice anybody talking to her other people they'll stand there talk to one another and everything but not her nobody talks to her she doesn't you know she does her work uh, you've heard her on the telephone you've heard her um, you know when she has to ask somebody else and nothing seems different about her really to you um, you know she's just your average person she, on the phone she's not mean or rude or anything 
she or to the other employees, staff. But nobody talks to her. Nobody is as friendly to her as they are to you, even, or any anybody else working there. She just, they just don't talk to her. And as you start to see it, she just seems what you call invisible to the, re to the rest of them. Now, you don't ask anybody why. You, you just see that she seems invisible. Now, to everybody else. You know, she's there, of course. She's not invisible, but... Yeah, now what do, you, what do you think is the reason? What immediately comes to your mind? Like you said, you've seen her and you don't see her as uh, you've heard her, you've seen her. She, nothing seems to be different um, than anybody else. She's your average person. But what comes to your mind? Why are, do they just not include her in? Now, you'd be surprised. So give yourself, you know, pause the video and give yourself time to think about it. And, uh, and unpause the video <laughs> but yeah now here is something here's something I was thinking about this that you know maybe some people do it and they don't even think about it they've been trained to do this this way you know somebody hints to you this is the way to look at it or not but some people would think immediately that she must have done something wrong why would we think that you know we didn't see anything you know if, if, if I was there too didn't see anything different about her. She was nice on the phone. There was no, she was nice to other people. She never, you know, gave me any feeling that, you know, she's rude or anything. Why do some of us, I wouldn't, honestly, think of this person as, you know, she did something wrong. And I think that for a lot of people, it's they're trained this way. If, if everybody's, you know, ignoring a person, there's a reason that she, something she did. But it's not always the case. You know, it's not, maybe not even often the case. Because some people ostracize, you know, like one person. They, they will just, you know, have nothing to do with that one person for whatever reason. And it is not right to me. Now, that's my opinion. It's not right. You know, and if you ask somebody and they say, well, you know, they don't know. <laughs> okay. Why? See? But you could say you might be just as guilty if you don't try to strike up a conversation with that person or you don't ask other people what's wrong. Why do they do this to this woman? This one person would say, so I'm one person. Well, I did say it was a woman. Why are people doing that? What's, what's the problem? What's the issue? You know, but why would some people immediately say it's her? Like I said, you know, or they could be blaming the victim. These other people could be snobs, you know, for whatever reason, have a, you know, like a mean girl group, <laughs> really, or a mean boy group, or mix, a mean group. You know, they just want to have that person who's their scapegoat, who's their, you know, their target. You know, there's a collective narcissism going on, you know, group narcissism. You don't know until you ask, or you try to find out yourself, right? But wouldn't you be just as guilty if you immediately said there must be something wrong with her? She must be mean. She must be rude. She must be, you know, something. Maybe her breath stings, you know. But how many people do that? Immediately think that, okay? And, and plus, especially, how does that mix with it being a nice town? People are really nice to one another. Yeah, you know, that nice town, city. How does it mix with that? How, how does it... What does it then do to you to make you think, you know, hey, I'm at this job, it's just one job, and they're doing this to just this one person. Does it change your view of the whole place or just change your view of where you're working? Okay. So, where you're working and the people who work there. How does, how does it affect you or does it at all? Do you think it's something that's just totally isolated? Would it be the same in other departments? What assumptions do you make, or do you make any assumptions, or just, are you a person say, okay, I'm going to take, you know, a moment and go and meet this person, and, you know, just be friendly, and not, not be inquisitive, just be friendly, or maybe you are, find out what's going on. So, okay. Now, I uh, grew up in something like that, it was a small city, large town kind of thing, and, uh, 
when I was very young, I'm thinking, you know, kinder, not kindergarten, but, you know, grade school, I guess, first through fifth, um, elementary school. There, I got it. But I remember there was this one um, boy in my class, and I kept hearing, you know, people would say something. They didn't have it, all this no tolerance, no tolerance for bullying. I didn't even know what bully or bullying meant back then. I didn't know until after I was an adult. I never heard of it, at least as far as I remember. But they didn't have any kind of policy like that. And it was awful. Kids would pick on one another like you wouldn't believe all the way through high school. Now, if you sneezed wrong, they, they uh, what they felt was sneezing wrong, they made fun of you. You were the person, the target of the day, kind of thing. Well, I remember this one boy, and he had, I think, a sister or maybe a sister and a brother. I don't remember now. But very young, people were picking on him and said, "Why? Why are y'all doing? Why is everybody doing that to this young boy that in that class, same age as I, and, you know, was then?" And the answer was because their families is bad. Their parents are bad. What what way? What do you mean? And to me, why would the kid have to pay for what the parents were, you know? Um, but yeah, that's how they felt. They didn't know. Nobody knew what was wrong with his family that it would warrant such a behavior, you know, treatment. And there was nothing. This is a kid. You know, like I said, there was no, you know, bullying thing back then. But yeah, I've seen that, and I've seen that people, they, they, it can carry on to that family has such a bad reputation, like one has to pay for all. In my book, the ones who pick on somebody like that were the ones whose family <laughs> still don't see it. No, one should not pay for all, you know, I mean, all should not pay for one. Yeah, I'll get it right. I had it backwards then. But yeah, you know, the... the um, just because, like, the parent or the parents do wrong or wrong, why does the, you know, each individual have to pay for that? But it does. And I could see this happening in a, in a, in a business. If they just ostracize, you know, this one person because of their family wasn't the same. The family did this. Or even maybe the family was, they were poor. Now, and that could have been the case for that young man. I don't remember. But what about you? Have you seen this kind of thing happen, whether at work? It could be anywhere. It doesn't matter where it is, but have you seen it? And how did you behave? What did you do? What did you think? How did, did it taint whatever that place was? You know, like if you joined some charity or something, and they were like this. Or would, would you be worried that if you befriended that person, that then the rest would pick on you? How do you see it? I mean, as an adult, we're no longer children, you know. If you're watching this, you're no, not a child, I would think. But how do you see it? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up and leave a comment down below if you want. And I'll talk to y'all in another video. And by the way, this is part of a series. So I'll try to link, you know, at least one or two. This will be the second one, so I can only link one to it. In the, tri uh, in the rectangle, at the end of this video. And if you want to subscribe and you haven't already, you can click the circle icon. I'll talk to y'all in another video.